Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a warm welcome to you. In continuation of the little rainbow challenge I'm going on, I'm doing Pride Month, we have the color orange. <laughs> this, there's a story with this orange by the way, I'm never gonna start. I'll, I'll progress with the story as we go on. But before I start with my story, we will be making a bralette today and I'm going to show you this one because it's part of the story. As you can see, it's orange. This did not exist. I did this video last week, okay? But my computer decided, nah. I'm a, I'm a die on you. I kind of saved the file on my computer and it, it, it's just, the computer just died. It's just, the hard drive, I literally I had to change the hard drive. It was so sad. But anyway, I lost my video, the whole video, okay? So I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> and sadly, it, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are two colors in here. It's like a darker orange and a lighter orange. Okay, uh, because I lost the video, I sadly cannot do the light to orange, which is this color. So, I won't do it for the bra cup, I will do it for the base. Okay, by the way, I even noticed that this base was wrong. This is the base we're going to be doing. So, it's like a seamless, you can't see the difference between the cup and the body. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do it like the other one. So this is what we're gonna do today, yeah. We're gonna make what I call my GT granny triangle, because it's not a granny square. My granny triangle bralette. Okay, so I'll be doing this with you guys today and you're going to need two types of wool, if you want. This is actually supposed to be one color, but uh, I'm using uh, Two ply wool, it's really thin wool, okay? So if you're gonna be using thin wool, you might wanna double it and then you can change the color like I'm doing, okay? Uh, one's orange and like I said, the other one's a lighter shade even though it doesn't show much here, but it is, okay? This is like an orange orange and this is like a sun, like a bright sun yellow, okay? Then we have a four millimeter hook. Skizzes. Okay, I can't show that much here. And a tapestry needle. You're gonna need these two to finish off your work, to weave in your ends and cut, cut the ends and weave them in. Okay, so with that, we are going to start with the bra cups of the bra legs. But before I do that, I would like to tell you guys about my sizing. My sizing has changed from my last um, bra cup tutorial or my bra legs tutorial okay so my new sizing is for a size small you need to chain three okay i'll show you guys what the chain three um, chain three chain 13 please okay it's chain 13 okay you're going to need to chain 13 and you're going to need 12 rows okay i'll show you guys what this means um okay Okay, so before I get into the bra cup, I'm going to show you guys how I do my sizing for my bralette. Okay, this is slightly different to my two-toned that I did. Okay, that uses a normal bra cup, but this is, as you can see, it's clearly not a normal bra cup. Okay, it's literally like a triangle. So my sizing for this, okay, is this is a size large by the way i do most of my sizing in large because uh that's the client place okay by the way this 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 bralette is going to be available i still haven't taken a picture of it oh this is so sad guys i need a reminder for these things uh, i need to put it up on jumia okay it's going to be available on jumia uh, jumia during this week so this one and the one we're going to be making today okay clearly this you're going to be different you're going to see okay so the sizing, <coughs> size small is a total of six rows. Size medium is a total of seven rows. 
and size large is a total of eight rows. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So, this is the middle, okay? You're not gonna count upwards. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like I said, this is the size large, so it's a total of seven, eight. It's a total of eight. My brain, my brain, my braining today. It's a total of eight rounds. I forget, we're working in the round for this. Yes, it doesn't look like a round, but it is a round. Okay, it doesn't, you, you know how a round works, guys. Come on. Okay, so now that you know my sizing for this bra cup, I will be doing one with you and I'll get into the other one and I'll show you how to do the body. Okay, I won't be doing both, obviously, just one. You just need to duplicate it. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, so we're going to need to start off with a magic ring. Okay, but we do our magic ring as a magic chain because that's exactly what it is. So slip stitch. That's how I do my slip stitch. Okay. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, it's a rainy day, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's so nice and chill. I love it. So you're just going to hear pelting in the background there. If you can. With the music and all. Okay. Slip stitch. And you get this little blob blob. Okay, you don't want to go into that hole. You want to go into this middle one here. This middle one here. Okay. And now we're going to start our double crochet. So to start that, we need to chain a total of three. Okay. Then we're going to start our double crochet into that middle hole, not the side one. Okay. This chain three counts as a stitch. Now we're going to do that again for a total of three. Okay, so now we have three double crochets in the hole. Now we're going to chain one. Okay, and we're going to do that again. So a total of three double crochets in the hole. Joys, the joys of working with two walls. You always skip one. If you don't skip one while you're working with it, are you really doing it right? Huh? Okay, so that's two. And I'm trying to take my tail along with me, but it's, it's deciding now. Okay, so that's three. Now we're going to do this one more time. Chain one and go back into that hole and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, we have this weird semicircle, but we need to complete it. So we're going to chain one and turn it into a round. Okay. Now we have a weird circle. So we're going to chain three to go into round two. Now we're going to go into that same hole we just came from and do a double crochet and into the hole again and do a double crochet. Okay, so now we have three, including this, remember? So every chain three you do counts as a stitch. Okay, so this is now a total of three. Now, into the next hole, we're going to do a corner and a corner is three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. Much like the granny square. Okay. Chain one and three double crochets. 
<sighs> I was just getting momentum and that had to happen. Okay. Now we're going to go into the next hole, which I'm trying to find here. There we go. There we go. I think. No. Well, if you can't find an account, there it is. Okay. I'm going to do the exact same corner I just did. So chain three. And chain, uh, I said chain three, double, three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to do three to finish off, three double crochets in this hole. Please note you do not do chains while you're transitioning. It's only, do, you only do chains when you're doing a corner. So I mean transi transitioning meaning when you're in this spot. You do not do a chain in this spot, okay? You only do it in a corner like that. <laughs> so close guys, so close. Uh working with two wolves is so crap. Okay, okay, okay. But so cool. It looks so cool. I <laughs> like the gradients you can get. Damn. Okay, so there. I, 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 I seem to have a mouth today, I'm sorry. Um you can see the triangle happening now. So you're just gonna continue this, really. We're just now you're going to go into your third round. Round. I got a right! Yay! Okay. Chain three. Every time you start, you start with chain three into the same hole. Trying to find it. Not that one. This one. And do a three. Do three double crochets, including this one. So total of two. Now, this is the actual repeat. This is the repeat round. Okay. We're going to go into this and do only three double crochets. Okay. Now, when you see a corner, you do a corner. Okay. So this is a corner. This is a corner. Obviously, this is a corner. Okay. So everywhere you see a corner, you do a corner. If you don't see a corner, you just do three double crochets in the hole. Okay, so corner once again, and hopefully for the last time, is three double crochets. Okay. Uh, three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets in the same hole. Into this hole, three double crochets. Oh, try not to grab the, the whole thing. Ah, uh, it happened again. Like you have to hold the wall here pretty tight. And I'm not a tight person. Okay, we've reached the corner. Now we do a corner. Which is three double crochets. It was not the last time. <laughs> Chain one. And three double crochets. So that's the second one. Okay. Now I'm going to get to the end. Okay. And yeah, once you're done, you chain three and where you see a corner, you do a corner. Where you see a hole, you put in three. Okay, I'm going to complete this for a total of eight rows. So right now we have one, two, three. Okay, 
So now I'm going to do a total of eight. Okay, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I am at the end here. And I'm just gonna do my last three double crochets, okay? Don't tell me that's a factory knot. Oh my God, it is. Uh, guys, like, I think another thing that pisses me off is factory knot. Like, this isn't done by me. It's done by the freaking factory. It, it, it does that. It makes my work look so weird. Okay, anyway, that's the last of it. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go in the top. Okay. I'll just do the chain one so hold it. Okay, it is going to do this. Okay, it's supposed to look like a bra cup, so it, it bunches up. And I figured, yeah, this is how it's supposed to look, not flat. So, yeah, I have done two. Okay, let me, let me face it the right way. Okay. So this is the front, the side with the better design compared to the back. I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty flat, and like bump. Okay, this is like designed. So this is the front of the bra cup. So now we're going to move on to the body. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, which way do I wanna do this? I want this, okay, I want my, my uh, tail to be on the end this way so that's the way i'm gonna do it which means it's gonna have to be that way instead because i'm 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 i'm, I'm kind of turning everything backwards but well where am i going oh my god oh my god wait which way am i supposed okay wait wait okay wait let me just lay it out so I'm going to do a single crochet, uh, no I'm not, I'm actually going to continue this uh, granny stitch, these three double crochets in each hole going down, okay, so I'm not going to do a single crochet around, uh, you know what, we'll figure it out when I get there, okay, so I'm going to, I've done one chain, I'm going to do two more. Okay, so that's a total of three chains. Now, we're going to go, okay, we actually need to do, okay, let me follow what I did here. So this is basically what we're going to do. As you can see, it's pretty seamless. Okay, you can't really see, well, obviously, if you crochet, you can see, it's around here. <laughs> okay, so, oh wow, it's nothing there, wow, even I didn't see that, oh my god, so this is exactly what we're trying to aim for here, okay, so we're going to go into the same stitch where we are now, two more times, okay, so in here, we're going to go in and do two double crochets, ugh, that's factory mark. Okay, and into the next three double crochets. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way down. Okay, into each hole, it's three double crochets. Okay, I'm going to continue down and I'll meet you when I get to the end here so we can attach this one. And I'll show you how to actually attach it because my brain's ain't braining right now. Okay, so I'm at the end here. So I'm just gonna go into that last one. Okay, actually, instead of going into that last one, I'm going to attach it. Okay, I figured it out. There we go. The end is on the side. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to combine this. So well, I need to wrap it around first because it's a double crochet. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to go pull through both. Wow. I just completely skipped that. And we're going to 
keep going in that hole two more times. So that's two and that's three. And then we're gonna continue on the other bra cup. So we're just gonna continue down doing our uh, three double crochets into each hole, going all the way down. Okay. And it should attach really nicely like that. Okay, so I am now on my last one here. And I'm just gonna do my triple crochet. And I just noticed something that I have not changed the color of one of my walls. So I'm gonna do it now under this last one before I go into the next row. Okay, so I'm just gonna end it here. I'm gonna cut it. Okay. And I'm gonna drop one and change the color. Oh wow, there you go. We can actually see the difference now. Thank God for better lighting. Okay. So, I am now attaching. There we go. Yeah. So that would technically finish the first row. Okay. So that's how it looks. I will turn it right side up once I'm done. So now for the next row, we're going to chain three, turn our work, or Turn our work and then turn three, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, and we're going to actually add one more chain, so it's a total of four because we want a nice crossover here. Okay, so now we're going to go into this stitch and we're going to do three double crochets. You guessed it if you did. <laughs> okay, before I continue, please. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, okay? Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when I put up more content. This is a rainbow challenge, so it's a series, so a lot more videos will be coming up. And the next weeks to the end of the month, I'll be posting on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So stay tuned at the same time, hopefully. So it's anywhere between 8.30 and 12 midnight at my time. <laughs> okay, so just stay tuned. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. I'm going to continue. Um, oh, and it would be great if you can leave a comment. Comments are great too. I would like to hear from you guys if you do this or if you like it or what you want to see. I did get a comment one time that uh, they want to see a bag with my uh, hot stopper leaves people seem to really like those so since it's also that time of month <laughs> that's on the so wrong okay moving on uh, as this is also quite fitting i will hopefully get that video up as well uh, i'll explain how the bag would work because i made one i've already made a bag so i'll do like a smaller version of it to show you guys how it was made um i don't want to give too much detail so yeah now okay but then yeah i'll show you guys how to i'll show the person who commented that how to do it i'm sorry it's so late but it's gonna come up this week this month okay no problem no worries it's coming it's coming i hope you're watching this one to hear this <laughs> okay so i'm gonna continue all the way down okay you're just gonna That's the back, okay. So I'm just gonna continue all the way down until the end. And I'll meet you once I've gotten to the end here. Okay, so I'm at the end here. By the way, the rule of this body is that the way you start here, for example, is the way you end. 
okay so if you start with three double crochets like we started in this round okay so three double crochets you end with three double crochets but like we started in this round row in this row we started with a chain so we're going to end with a single crochet okay that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do how you start is how you end okay okie dokie okie dokie cool okay okay so now we're going to repeat row one and two okay in terms of the start okay so the next one is going to be uh, chain threes into this hole okay and go down and end with chain three into this last hole as well so we're going to repeat row one and two another one time each if that makes sense so one more row one one more row two giving you a total of four then we're going to do the second row the first row the first row again so it's a total of three of these first rows and two of the second ones okay then we're going to do a single crochet to tie off the end so no loosey loosey cutty cutties you know so yeah so we're gonna do that and I'll meet you once it's time to start the single crochet round row okay so we are at the end here and I've done my total of five rows and as you can see the little two tips are here so that's one two three four and five okay so I'm just gonna finish this off and it's looking gorgeous I actually really like this pattern because it looks seamless this is like the most seamless thing I've ever done even to me I, 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 I don't see it like do you see it do you see where it starts I don't well besides here obviously and oh you can see the change of color okay great stuff okay so yeah we're, we're, we're done with that part now we need to start our single crochet so we need to chain two sorry that was really close turn our work or the other way around like usual okay and we're not going to go into this one no not this one this one okay because we need to continue it okay and we're just gonna do single crochet <laughs> yeah going slow with two wolves is kind of hard guys it's really hard uh, okay so in okay so i'm gonna continue my single crochets all the way down by the way i can't count for you guys i don't count so yeah please just follow as you see and if you do count do tell the counts of great okay i'm at the end here now and i'm just gonna finish it off with you guys and there we go great stuff great stuff yeah and that's that this is the back so i'm gonna turn it forward i also just want to finish this off because this is the end of it so i'm just gonna chain one and cut my wool i shouldn't have tossed that to the side okay i just tossed my wool to the side okay let me go back a little bit here okay so yeah there's the bra cup and body of our bralette you can obviously go um, lower if you want to add more rows, you can uh, go bigger, obviously. Um, the sizes, obviously, as you know, small, medium, large is uh, six, seven, eight rows. OK, so you just keep adding to that or reduce for a smaller size. And obviously, this kind of work, if you want to wear it and you're not brave enough and it's not the beach. <laughs> OK. Uh, you need to block it. I would advise you block this. You can actually put an actual bra cup in here. You know those foam ones? Um, or you can just block with fabric like an inner lining or something. Okay, I'll probably block mine with a like, fabric. I have a fabric for it. Um, so, yeah. Though I can't sew, so I, I can't even show you because I ain't gonna do it my mom is. <laughs> okay, 
Um, yeah, so this is our bralette. I mean, besides the change of color, it looks pretty similar to me. And in, in reality, as I'm looking at it now, obviously you can see the color because uh, daylight has changed. Um, yeah, it looks pretty seamless and I, I really like that seamless look. It has its own characteristics, so that's great. Now we're gonna move on to the straps. Uh, to make my strap bigger, I currently have three wolves here. So that small one, that's not the small one, the lighter colored one is only one. I only have one of that wool. So I have three strands currently. So I'm gonna use all three strands. Wow, three strands. That sounds diabolical. Ugh. Trying to pull them all is a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so there's our three, three English. English is beyond me. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one with you and then I'm gonna do the one off the other one off camera and I'm gonna show you how to lace afterwards. Okay. So to start off, I'm gonna leave quite a long tail because uh, three strands, it needs help. Okay. I'm not gonna tie it off because I figured that uh, tying it leaves a knot here and I don't really like the knot look. Okay, so I'm gonna just start my chains and I'm going to do a total of 160 chains. 170, 160, 170, I'll let you know. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to continue and I'll meet you once I'm done with my 160, 170 trick. Okay, so I am done with the bullet. Basically, I think this is the front. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the front. And I did a total of 170 chains. Okay, on both sides. So now I'm going to turn the work. And I'm going to start lacing it up. I think by now you should know how to lace, how to lace your work, but I, I guess I'll, I can show it again. Okay, so I'm just finding the closest available hole and I'm going in there. Okay, I'm taking the other strap and going on the opposite side, but I'm still on the same thing. Okay. Just pull enough, I guess. By the way, you lace this according to your size. So obviously, once again, you can do a lot more. Okay. Or you would need to do a lot less. But uh, this is what I do for the larger sizes. Because shoulder widths are not. You want it to go, this lace, by the way, you want it to go over your shoulder and tie at the back with enough string left, okay? For extra, when you're feeling extra. So you can even tie it around your waist. But yeah, that's, that's that. Crazy's too lazy to uh, weave in her ends, so that's it. I'll weave in my ends later. You'll see it in the, in the thumbnail. Uh, yeah. So that's the bralette. Oh, I can't get the whole thing in the shot. I'm trying. Oh well, I can't get the whole thing. I'm sorry. Okay, it's quite a big thing for the screen. Okay. But yeah, that's the bralette. Uh once again, if you like this video, please leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Will be highly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, please do, okay? Uh, hit the notification bell, YouTube, so you can get noted on the next color, which is, guys, I do this weird thing to remember the colors of the rainbow because I don't. I sing the Barney song. Who else does that? Red is the color of an apple. Orange is the color of an orange. Yellow is the next color. Yellow is the color of a beautiful sun, sun, sun. Green is the love color of things and lots of things that grow and then there's blue for the sky and then purple and indigo 
purple and didn't go the same thing so <laughs> it's the same shade they're all purple anyway moving on so that that's what i sing every time i'm trying to remember the colors of the rainbow i don't know what you guys do if you sing it as well or you have another song or another way of remembering those uh rainbow then please leave that in the comments as well because i would love to see it let me laugh with you guys okay so yeah this is the bralette i hope you like it yeah i'm gonna weave in the ends later once again i don't do it on camera anymore. thank you for watching i hope you like it and stay safe stay well